Ocho, I had I told you something. I told you Friday. I told you Thursday. I yeah. say, Ocho, if Alabama beat Georgia, they go into yeah. the college football playoff. Now I told you, I said, Ocho, if I tell you a duck smoke cigarettes, you grab him <laughs> and check under his wing. The he wing. got to pack up under there. <laughs> hey, I'm there so no- glad. Go ahead. I'm so glad we on this right now because you got to give me a better understanding of how in the hell Florida State go undefeated and don't make the playoffs. Because I told somebody, you, somebody asked me, right? Uh huh. And the first thing I said, you know what? I don't even have to watch college football like that to understand the four teams he, they, that they pick, they choose to go. Follow yeah. the money. Yeah. Follow the money. Just fo- follow the money. Outside of that, that is the bottom line. Come hella high water behind all things. And then they're going to talk. Stop thinking with your emotions. Stop thinking because you're you're a fan of that team or that's, you know, you have allegiance to them. That's your alma mater. Follow the money. That's what the committee is doing. Ocho, the thing is, is that I don't know what people are thinking. Right. So you mean to tell me you thought the committee was mm-hmm. going to leave two 12 and one SEC teams mm-hmm. out of the college football playoffs? Is that what you think? Thought mm-hmm. the toughest conference in the country, right? Year in and year out, right. and you got two 12 and one teams, and you're gonna leave both of them at home. I told you, and I was trying to explain to people, and I said it on ESP on first take. I said, with their co- with their uh, quarterback being injured, and right. you on your second and third quarterback, mm-hmm. I said they go the committee gonna hold that against them. I say if I said if Alabama beats Georgia, mm-hmm. they're going to the college football playoff. So that's if, Bama. If, that's Georgia, Bama. You, if, if Georgia beat Alabama, then you think Florida State would have been in? Florida State would have been in. Because okay. now you take Georgia, you take Michigan. You take UW and you take Florida State because right. nobody else has no compelling argument. But right. Georgia just beat the number one team in the country. They were won 11 straight games. Mm-hmm. So, and you look at Florida, and Florida State struggled against Louisville. Florida against State Louisville. Won. They struggled against Louisville. They didn't so need to beat them 40 to do, nothing. Do, do they take into account strength of schedule? Does all that even do. matter or is it yes. just about it? Yes. Yes. So Al- yes. Alabama, Alabama from, from, from the homework I did, Alabama had the fifth strongest schedule mm-hmm. this year yes so they're in even though they have a even though they have a loss and they the have fact a loss. That they just they just beat georgia they beat georgia they beat the number one they beat the the 29 team that hadn't lost in in two and a half years yeah they yeah. beat that okay. team okay and i knew okay. and i knew look i like kirby but they right. were talking about kirby is the best no kirby is not kirby has had the best talent over the last right. two years because right. you mean to tell me if Coach Saban would have had that talent, he wouldn't have won the <laughs> national championship? Right. I love Kirby. I, I like Kirby a lot. I don't love him. I like him a lot. And I think he's mm-hmm. a fabulous coach. And right. he got he cut his teeth under Coach mm-hmm. Saban. Right. But St. Nick is where it's at. There's never been a coach in college football that was mm-hmm. better than St. Nick. Nick. And I'm right. talking, and I'm old enough to remember Coach Bryant. Yeah. I'm old enough to remember a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Not him. Dr. Tom Osborne, when he mm-hmm. won all of his championships in the 90s. Mm-hmm. And when he had that Nebraska team in the in the eighties, yeah. when they were the old Big Eight, I don't know if you remember the old Big Tommy, Eight conference. Wait, not Tommy Frazier. They had to- Tommy Frazier, yeah, and yeah. Rest, the nutcase uh, uh, Lawrence Phillips. Ooh, uh, right they were low, they were yeah. man, man. They averaged like four hundred yards rushing the game. Ooh, with that option, they just they they just bludgeon people. Yeah, they just they just they just beat people down. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? That I, my my next question goes. Well, now you yes. have. The, we all know the four teams that are in there. Is Michigan's there, one, Washington's two, Texas two, is three, Alabama's four. four. So Michigan plays Alabama. Washington plays Texas. So you tell me how it's going to play out. What you think? Look, did you hear? Well, for, every, Michi- for everybody, for everybody that's watching, if you're gambling, if you're a gambler man, <laughs> you're a gambler woman. You listen to Unc and bet your house on what Unc tell you. Oh, uh, this is what I do know. When it was announced, because they announced the first three teams first. Right. Michigan, Washington, Texas. Mm-hmm. And who will face Michigan in the fourth spot? Mm-hmm. When they when they unveiled it was Alabama. Did you hear the size that came over Michigan's locker room? Ah, mm-hmm. uh, they thought they was going to get Florida State and a second or a third uh, a third team quarterback. Right. And make it easy to get to the national championship, huh? You gonna have to play. Yeah. You gonna have to play. Because that's one thing about St. Nick. Mm-hmm. He gonna have them ready. How do they match up though? How do they how, how do the Wolverines match up? Michigan is against- a physical team. Mm-hmm. They try to bludgeon people. 
Mm-hmm. There have been a there have only I can only imagine I can only remember only a handful of teams since since he's gone back to Alabama mm-hmm. that beat him running the football. You normally beat him with a quarterback. Yeah. It's I, a Cam Newton, it's right. a Johnny Manziel. Mm-hmm. Uh Zeke ran him off the field, but Cordell <laughs> Jones had some timely throws. Right. Normally, if you beat him, even when they lost in the Sugar Bowl that night to Trevor Knight. He mm-hmm. threw for 300 plus yards. Normally, in order to beat an Alabama defense, you have to throw the football. Girl. So, I mean, is Michigan capable of actually throwing the Michigan, ball up and down the field like that? Michigan pride themselves, says, you know what? We tougher than you are. We going to bully you? That's what they believe. That's that's a Jim Harbaugh's philosophy. If right. you watched it when he coached the 49ers, you yeah. see how they play. They're mm-hmm. suffocating with Big Fangio, a suffocating mm-hmm. defense, mm-hmm. and Colin Kaepernick and, and Frank Gore and that mm-hmm. crew running mm-hmm. the football. Right. I mean, you can do that if you have the personnel to do so, but we talk about Am- Alabama. They got they got them hogs. They got them hogs Alabama. Front now. You know, hey, you know it. And, 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 and Jalen Monroe has gotten better. And remember mm-hmm. now, he was benched. Yeah. Yeah, he was he big. Was. He was, yeah. And he got the job back, and he hasn't looked back. Mm-hmm. And so guys make it boned. Isaiah bone. Mm-hmm. The guys are making plays for him. Yeah, that defense played outstanding yesterday. Uh, but Jalen Moreau, his legs is what got him because they could not give the ball back to to Georgia. And mm-hmm. he gets outside. He goes for thirty. He stays in bounds. And then he gets a first down. The guy punches the ball out. The ball comes out, but he lands on it. Mm-hmm. They run the clock out. So it's going to be – I like this matchup. I'm not surprised of the four teams that made it. Right. Uh, Texas, I love Sark. Sark is unbelievable. It's going to be a great game. Yeah. Uh, but I think the, the game that people are kind of circling <clears> – <throat> excuse me – is the, is when well, you got three blue bloods, mm-hmm. Texas, Alabama, and Michigan. Those yeah. You don't get any bluer than that. Right, right, right. You don't right, get any right. bluer than that. Mm-hmm. Washington is the outlier. Yeah. Uh, but man, this is gonna be a, this is a great matchup, matchup. The two program. I think Michigan is the winningest program in NCAA history as far in terms of football. I right. think Alabama's probably like three or four. Mm-hmm. Uh Texas, Texas, the burnt orange is back in business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sark got him. And where did he go? Went to Coach Saban, rehabilitated mm-hmm. himself, got right. a job. Very deserving of the job at UT. Mm-hmm. Turn that program can completely around because right. you know they come to the SEC next year. Mm-hmm. Texas, Oklahoma, now, mm-hmm. and everybody told me, oh, they're going to twelve. So now you're going to have five teams from the SEC, mm-hmm. and, and you're going to have four teams in the SEC from the SEC in the college football playoff, right? And you're going to have two or three from the big team. So now you're going to be mad all over again because you're going to have five, six, seventeen from two conferences right. in the college football playoff, and now you're mad. Yeah. You get lip stuck out. Mm-hmm. Man, that ain't fair. But what you want to do? That's crazy. With strength of schedule, are the colleges, are the head coaches in charge of who you pick to play, or is that what? done by somebody else separately? The, well, you should you no. should purposely you should purposely. I mean, this, this is when well, you got to pay X far- amount of SEC games, right? You got to I mean, you got to yeah, play X amount of those. But right. I would I would I would want my schedule to be a little bit more difficult. So when time when the time comes, the committee can't use strength of schedule as a reason for me not. No, you it. don't, man. You I ain't taking no chances, man. You think I'm fit to go out there? You think if, if you think I'm some team in the Big Ten, I'm gonna play Alabama or I'm gonna play Georgia? You out your damn mind, don't you? No, <laughs> you, you, you damn no. Nah. Shit. Yeah, I, my my boys would be ready. Now, okay, they got guess who got the toughest strength of schedule, such and such, but they got three losses. What that gonna get you? Okay. You see, Alabama couldn't make it well, last shit. year with two Florida, losses. Is your goddamn Florida State was goddamn undefeated, and look what they they use the strength of schedule as a goddamn reason why they're not in there. Yeah, I mean that's bull. And then they gonna say, well, the quarterback ain't there. They down to their third string quarterback. <laughs> what does you. that have to do with the matter of the fact that they are undefeated? They what was the what's the purpose of going undefeated? Going undefeated if you're not rewarded. <laughs> Damn, it, it was it was yeah. such a it was such a bad break, and I feel bad for Florida State. Yeah. But I'm not surprised by the yeah. outcome of yeah. the committee taking Alabama. Right. Those three Fo- because follow, at the end of the follow day, follow the money. If you saw the Wolf of Wall Street, just follow the money. Yeah, because Alabama gonna bring them. 